If you want to learn how to make a presentation like this, then keep on watching. Hi, my name is Tony, and this is my channel, Ready Steady Excel. If you want to learn how to get the most out of these applications here, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell, we'll put you on the right track. We've all heard of the phrase, death by PowerPoint, yet we still see PowerPoint presentations that are mind-limitingly dull. In today's video, I want to show you how you can make your presentations more dynamic, helping you to engage your audience. Okay, are you ready? I know I am. Then let's go. Okay, so let's start with the Zoom basics. So first you would create your presentation. So here I've got a series of charts. Yours doesn't have to be charts. It can be images, it could be text, it could be a mixture. I then have this blank slide and this is where I'm gonna be zooming from. So this is like your main page. So let's set up the Zoom. So if I go to insert, I then go to Zoom and then slide zoom. I then select the slides that I want to zoom into. I can then arrange these onto this canvas. And you can enlarge these. You can also rotate. Now the great thing about these thumbnails is that they're automatically linked to the slides. So if any of these slides change, it will automatically update the thumbnail. So let me show you. So if I click on this pie chart, and let's change this pie chart to something else. So I'm gonna change it to a column chart. Click OK. And as you can see, straight away, it's updated the thumbnail. Okay, so let's test this one out. So let's start the presentation. And if I click, it zooms in, click again, and away it goes. How quick and easy was that to set up? And when I click on this last one, it just ends. If you don't want it to end in that way, there is a solution. So if I click on the thumbnail, go to zoom, and you've got the option here to return to zoom. So what that means is it will return to this page here, to this slide. So I'm gonna put one there. Actually, I'm gonna put it one on every thumbnail, just to show you how that would work. So let's start the presentation. If I click, zooms in, click again, and it zooms back out again. The great thing about using this return to zoom is that I can pick these slides in any order. So if I wanna go back into risks, then I can. I can go up here. As you can see, because the thumbnail was rotated, automatically it turns in to the slide, which I think is pretty cool. So let's click again. So with return to Zoom, you can go into these slides in any order. Okay, so let's spice things up a bit uh, because this slide's still looking a bit bland. So what I'm gonna do is just remove these. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is just change the background. So right click, format background. Now you can choose a solid color if you wanted to. Uh, but what I'm gonna go for this example, I'm gonna go for picture, puts in this sort of default image, but if I go to insert, I can then either bring in a file that I've got saved on my computer, I could do a search with online pictures, or I can use an icon. So I've got an image that I prepared earlier, so let's go into here. So I select the image that I want to use. So let's do our zoom. So if I go to insert, zoom, and then slide zoom. And again, I just select the slides that I wanna zoom into. So let's arrange these. So a nice little feature that Zoom has is that you can remove the background of these thumbnails. So if I click on this one, go to Zoom, go to Zoom background, it makes the background transparent. So let's do that to the remaining ones. Let's see how this one works now. Let's play this. Click, and it zooms in, maintaining that transparency. So that works really well. Now, if you're not happy with the thumbnails, maybe you've got like a text-based slide, then you can change these thumbnails. So let me show you. So if I click on this one, go to zoom, and this time I'm gonna to go to change background. So again, you can choose from a, your computer, you can do a search 
you can use an icon. So I'm going to go for icons. You've got the option to do a search here in the top left, but I'm going to go to analytics. I'm just going to pick one of these and it replaces that thumbnail with an icon and it still works. So let's play and it zooms in. Okay, so let's step things up a little bit. So if you want to add additional slides to this presentation, then you can, but there's some things that you need to do. So let me show you. So if I first, let's just add in a new slide. So I've right clicked there, new slide. Let's give this one a title. Okay, so I've just added a slide there. So let's play and let's see what happens. So if I click risks, it works nicely. Click again. And what's happened now, it's turned into your normal static death by PowerPoint presentation. So the zoom has stopped working. So there is a solution to fix this. And what you need to use is sections. So you need to break your presentation up into sections. So to do that, you just right click here, add section, give it a name. So this one's gonna be called risks. And then the next section will start around here. So right click. So what I've done there is I've broken my presentation into sections. So let's start the zoom again. So I'm just gonna remove these and let's start the zoom again. So if I go to insert, uh, zoom, and this time I want to select section zoom. And what you can see here is the slides at the start of each of those sections. And the same idea as before, we can arrange these thumbnails. I'm now going to remove the backgrounds as well. Do you remember where to go to remove the backgrounds? So, yep, so you go to zoom and then zoom background and it will remove them. Okay, so let's test this one. So let's press start. If I click, zooms in, let's click again. It goes to the next slide, click, and it automatically returns to the main page when that section's finished. So that automatically happens for you. So once it's broken down into sections, you can continue to add the slides. So if I right click here, new slide, I'm gonna call this one feedback. This time I'm gonna rotate these thumbnails just to remind you how that works. And let's press play. If we click in, click through, it goes through those slides. And then when it's finished that section, goes back to the main page, and then I can click onto the next one. So cool, isn't it? Now, if you want to move away from using bullet points, then watch this video here. Or if you want to learn how to correctly present your PowerPoint presentation in Microsoft Teams, then watch this video. Whichever video you choose next, I will see you there.